Here's my realistic SCT-14. It's a top loading cassette deck and it's really small. I mean, there's my, I have it on top of a, um, what's that, Super Scope, a small um, tuner and amp right there. And it's even smaller than that. I think it's probably this distance here is maybe just a foot, maybe just over a foot by about 10 inches over there. It's a, um, Realistic made this, introduced these in 1977, and they discontinued them in 1981. So just about four years they made these machines. I, I like them because they're so small, and I like them because it has an output control here. Um, you have the ability to do chrome or dobly uh, filters or tapes or whatever you want to call those mechanisms that the cassette decks have, which is pretty cool. And there's VU meters for your left and your right, which is nice. This one here on my uh, left is a little bit problematic, but the right's working fine and the lights work fine. I don't know if you can see them coming up there. They're very, you know, they just have those lights on the side like that. This is just stuck. I'm sure I can fix that. Um, I just picked this up and it was covered, covered in gunk and paint. I don't know if you can still see some of these little white dots that are left and still some gunk in there you can see and in here that i've got to get out i just did an initial clean for a and opened it up and checked out the insides for the belts and whatever just to see what kind of condition this is in and it's it's nice i mean i got a tape loaded in there right now and we'll play it oh i'll turn the power on first power the sucker up there she be, play it, and you can hear it, uh, just a brief moment of how it sounds. And the output here, it's great. Nice and clean. Counter works, everything is functioning properly except the VU meter there is stuck, which probably won't be stuck in a little while. Um, but that's it. It's a nice, nice looking deck. Of course, this is all fake wood and, you know, it's not real. It's plastic. Um, but the insides are all nice and steel. Very little plastic on the insides and very well constructed. Realistic did a lot of that. They just found a way to make it affordable and also good. So they contracted that with lots of other companies. Uh, Sansui... Pioneer, Hitachi, all these sort of respected companies were contracted to make the internals of these for uh, Realistic. And they did, a, they did a fine job. They're kind of underappreciated because people see Realistic and they think Radio Shack and they think uh, more domestic, uh, inexpensive and not really great, which is not the right way to go about this. If it sounds good, and it does, then that should be your benchmark. Well, thanks for watching.